All right, folks. Now let's take a look that we've now that we've seen the silicate minerals. Let's take a look at the non-silicate minerals, right? Uh, first one. Let's take a look at are the carbonates, right? So these are going to be our uh, uh, minerals that are composed of the anion group, uh, the carbonate ion CO3, right? Um, plus a cation attached to it, um, calcium or magnesium are some pretty common ones that can attach to it, right? So calcite is one of the minerals we'll look at, right? Uh, calcite is calcium, right? With this carbonate ion attached to it. And then dolomite is calcium with some magnesium in the structure as well. And then, you know, uh, a carbonate ion attached to it, right? These both will react to dilute hydrochloric acid. Uh, you have calcite in your mineral specimens, but not dolomite, I believe. Um, uh, but when you put di uh, dilute hydrochloric acid on them, it causes a chemical reaction. It causes it to, to fizz, if you will, right, where you applied the, the acid. I'll show you that uh, during lab as well. But many of these carbonates do like to, to fizz in acid, right? Uh, another important group of non-silicates are the sulfides. And then the oxide mineral groups, and both of these make up very common ore minerals, right? Uh, here in Michigan, we mine a lot of the iron oxides in our country. Uh, and iron oxides are magnetite, which is a black, uh, opaque mineral. And guess what its special superpower is? Yes, it's magnetic, right? And then hematite uh, can be very silver to gray, uh, but characteristically, it has this very reddish brown or rusty brown streak to it. So where it gets its name, hematite, heme, hemoglobin, blood, blood red streak, right? So um, these iron oxides, while well, they're, you know, very close in color, if you, you know, put this guy on a streak plate, uh, he'll streak black, right? And hematite will streak uh, uh, red. But we're talking Fe203 and Fe304, these two love to live together and they're often intermixed together, right? But these are our primary ore minerals here in the country for uh, for iron, which of course we use to make steel. And again, here in Michigan, we produce 25% of the country's iron. Right? The sulfide mineral group is another important ore mineral group. So we can have like, you know, pyrite, which is yellow, this guy here, but has a, you know, this is iron and sulfur together, right? And, and an iron sulfide, right? Or we can have chalcopyrite, which is this kind of gaudy, brassy yellow sort of color, right? This has iron and copper in its structure attached to sulfides, right? Uh, and then galena, right? Another guy here, you can see all sorts of little squares in this or cubes in his structure. He's another one just like salt that has this very uh, cubic cleavage to him. But he's also very dense because he's a lead sulfide, right? So this will have this, you know, very silver characteristic color, right? Galena, galenes, right? And uh, has this very cubic characteristic and it's very dense, right? Now, an issue with the sulfide minerals are uh, that when we mine them, uh, in the atmosphere or you know when they're, they're exposed to the air and you know go through chemical reactions and everything they often produce uh, 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 Very environmentally damaging side effects such as sulfuric acid rain as it combines with you know oxygen in the atmosphere or sulfur mine drainage or or heavy metal uh, uh, Infiltration into groundwater and stuff like that. So uh, this has been a big source for contamination for us as well, right? Uh, another important group uh, of minerals are, are what we call our evaporite minerals. And this includes our buddy halite, right? Salt, sodium chloride, right? That very characteristic, you know, cubic cleavage, square cleavage. Also will taste like salt if you lick it, right? Uh, and these are from, you know, ancient evaporated either, you know, chemical lakes or, or, uh, or ocean environments, right? And inland seas, that type of stuff, right? So these form as things evaporate, right? So think Great Salt Lake, right? Halite, it is salt, right? Distinctive cubic cleavage, tastes like salt, right? Gypsum, very soft, can be scratched with the fingernail, right? Appears in, in all sorts of forms. This is kind of a, a clear sheet form, but there's a lot of like pink, kind of uh, grainy uh, stuff too as well, right? Uh, some other non-silicate minerals that are fun, we have graphite, right? This is the stuff that you use in your pencil, right? The, the uh, um, chemical formula of graphite is C, carbon, right? It's actually the same chemical formula as diamond, C, right? Diamond just is formed deeper in the earth and has a different chemical structure, 
right? Which makes it a much more, you know, uh, pressure resistant mineral, right? We also have limonite, earthly yellow, brown mineral, essentially a rust mineral, right? And then we have fluorite, this beautiful guy here. Four directions of cleavage. You can see triangles reflected all through there again. If you see little triangles, think four directions of cleavage, right? So let's look at these uh, minerals throughout our, our, our planet and kind of look at them, you know, again, from a silicate perspective real quick here. So our continental crust, right, again, made of granite, right? Lighter in color. Remember, those pinks are light colors. So this is our non-ferromagnesian or felsic minerals, right, or felsic granite, right? Uh, oceanic crust, again, being denser, made out of basalt, right? Basalt uh, being formed uh, out of those ferromagnesian or mafic minerals, right? deeper in the earth right up in our upper mantle is where we're forming olivine right that's where olivine's crystallizing out so that's you know really high temperature right and then way down at the core iron and nickel right how did we get this piece of iron and nickel did we drill to the core no we did not drill to the core right that movie is not real anyway um this is from an uh an iron and nickel meteorite left over from the formation of our solar system right all right folks that ends it for the